Guys, I watched 15 seconds of a Filth Bomb Breaks break on Fanatics Live, and this is what I saw. This guy screams out. Okay, so we've got a Doug Flutie auto. That's gold, numbered out of 50. It's a sticker auto. And this guy yells, man, the Bills are eating tonight. Meaning like the people that are buying into Bills breaks are eating, I suppose, getting a Doug Flutie sticker auto unlicensed. I mean, it's shiny. It's gold. It's out of 50. And then it's followed up with Jay Novacek. Yes, Jay Novacek from the Cowboys, which, of course, there's no star in the helmet. Top's composite is unlicensed. And it's out of 175 or something, and it's another sticker auto. And then it's followed up with Randall Cunningham. These are the hits out of this thing. Randall Cunningham, sticker auto. It's not even the Eagles version. It looks like it's a Vikings version for Randall. Wow. Just wow. Wow. What's going on, sports card hobby family? We are back again. It is Friday. It's Friday. We made it. I am heading out to Seattle. We've got Metallica. My brother and I are going to go and watch Metallica on Sunday night. I'm excited. I've seen them twice before, but it's been 17 years since I saw them last, so it has been a while. Can they still jam out as, as these old guys? How do you stay grounded? How do you do it? Well, I've, I've got, a, <laughs> got a wife that kicks my First of all, kids that tell it like it is, you know. Uh, we will have to see. I think that it's going to be a pretty good show, though. I think it's going to be good, and I'm excited. It's in Seahawks Stadium, so we'll be the 12th man out there uh, watching that concert. So good times ahead. Our Friday shout-outs, Wooten Sports Cards on what night? The Singles Magician. Check him out. He sells out just about every week. Five-star reviews, 13 up to maybe four, 13, 14,000 followers at this point popular for a reason. Make sure to check out Wooten Sports Cards on Whatnot. Card Capsule. You want supplies. You want quality supplies. You don't want to pay a fortune for it. You want cases that are great. And you want 10% off because, frankly, you deserve 10% off. So use Sports Card Dad promo, co probably co co promo code to get 10% off your Card Capsule order. You've got a collection and you're like, I don't know what it's worth. Justcollect.com. Easy appraisal form. Easy appraisal form to figure out very quickly what is going on. They will take care of you over there at justcollect.com. The break of the decade from Blaze. Blaze breaks at Fanatics Fest. Man, they had the break of the decade. And it didn't go so great. I thought Ben did a great article on this with collect.com. Actually, I had reached out to him because I needed to clarify something, but... I think I know the answer because the other way would be just insane. And what it is is basically $5,000 spots, 99 spots. So if you add that up, it's about half a million bucks. Well, the article references that all the products that were bought, this is a high-end break, this break of the decade. And granted, it was awesome. I mean, they had some really great products that they were breaking. All that product added up to about half a million bucks. So what I was trying to figure out from Ben is just $5,000 per product, but it, that doesn't seem right. So I do think that they just broke even on this, meaning Blaze paid 500 grand for the product. They got 500 grand back from the break spots, but just great marketing and a good thing to do with within tops. That's my guess, because if it was $5,000 per product, they had seven products at 99 spots. And that would be over $3 million. So that, they did really well on that break if, if that's how it went down. My assumption here, though, is, is that you paid the 5000 bucks from the 99 spots and you had a shot at all these different products, which let me explain what those were. And again, if I'm wrong on that, please let me know in the comments because if not, then Blez had a really good night. It might have been a dud of a break, but Brez, Brez, Blez made some serious cash. Okay, the 2018 Prism Basketball, because of course the one of one Black Finite Luca has never surfaced. That's a, a absolute massive card. And that's what they were trying to do with this is picking different products where there's just a crazy card that has never been found. 2018 Top Sapphire Baseball, it's gonna be Otani stuff. 2009 Tops Basketball Jumbo, which of course is the, what is it, the one of one Curry they're looking for there that's never surfaced. You got the 2003 Upper Deck Ultimate Collection, looking for LeBron goodness out of that. 
96, 97 Flare Skybox EX2000 for Kobe type things. I mean, the list goes on. There's oh, 2017 National Treasures Football and 2007 Upper Deck Exquisite Basketball. I mean, we're talking like some massive stuff here. That, so, I mean, fun to watch, but I think that this was a kind of a good cautionary tale. Ben talks about it in the Collect.com article. They spent about half a million bucks on this product. The creme de la creme, really. I mean, you're talking like the top of the line type stuff that still has those monster hits hanging out there. And Ben surmised that based on recent sales of what was pulled, if, if the cards grade high, so if the cards grade high, so kind of best case scenario, they're getting back about 20% of their money with the cards that were pulled. So we're talking about a hundred grand of cards if they grade high, $500,000 to buy into all the product. Now, of course, if you hit one of these monsters that's been hanging out there, or if you maybe if they just pulled better cards, those numbers look different. I guess that's the whole appeal to breaks is it's the gamble. It's the, oh, the what if, and this was really a high-end break. So it was interesting. But again, I think it's important to talk about these types of events because I haven't really heard this talked about that much outside of Ben and Collect coming out with this article. Usually how this works is we're celebrating the massive hits, which great, that's cool. That's the exciting part. But it just kind of goes by the wayside that 80, 90% of the people got absolutely hosed on this break, you know, or they got skunked or whatever. On the last video a couple days ago that we did, there was someone that said, I've, I've lost about $1,500 on breaks. Another said a couple thousand, few thousand this year on breaks. I know that there's a lot more stories out there like that. And again, going back to the beginning of the video, the filth bomb breaks where the guy's like, the bills are eating tonight. Buddy, I, I don't know what it costs to buy into that Topps composite break. And again, maybe it's cheap. Maybe it's 20 bucks. Maybe it's 40, 60 bucks. I, I don't know what it is. But that Doug Flutie gold numbered out of 50 sticker auto, that's not like, doesn't even have a Bills logo on the side of the helmet. That's probably a $10 card. And maybe it's a $20 card this week. Maybe it's a $30 card this week. A year from now, I mean, what, in two years, they'll have another Doug Flutie licensed, fully licensed. It's got a Bills logo on the side of the helmet, and it'll still be a $20 card, let alone this thing. So, I know the Bills guy is probably not looking for Flutie. He's looking for the Josh Allen stuff coming out of that product or whatever. Fine. But, you know, again, I just, that's why I don't watch a lot of the breaking content. I understand the excitement behind it, but it's the, the losing your mind over, you know, the, the Jay Novacek auto that just popped through. That, to me, that's not a hit. That might be one of the two autographs that you got out of a box, but that is nothing to be celebrated. I almost, where's the breaker that's just going to be like, damn, we got smoked tonight. You know, and actually Blez here, Brett Blez in this break, he actually, he was quoted at doing this break that said, man, this was brutal. Actually did say it. So I do know that there are breakers out there that will say that sort of stuff. And also just on the front end of breaks too, like, hey, guys, we know what we're getting into. These are long shots, you know, kind of talking more about the risks associated. It's never like that though. Anytime I tune into these things, it's always like, who's ready to party? The bills are eating tonight, pulling bullshit. I get it, you wanna be exciting and entertaining, but how about we throw, a, like, just throw a little bit of caution out there. They've already pulled this, that, or whatever big hit, but let's see if we can find this. I don't know, find, find some sort of a balance with it. Cause man, there is, from what I see, there's just zero balance. And average Joe, just newbie coming into this thing, I swear they are going to buy into that that break and they're going to be like, I just got an unlicensed Randall Cunningham. Actually, they, they won't even know it's unlicensed. They'll be like, I just got a Randall Cunningham autograph. And then they'll find out three weeks later that it's a, basically a $2 card. I mean, it's just different times. And the reason why I make this sort of video is because there's a lot of new people still coming into this thing that are still trying to get, like trying to learn like what is what after the, like haven't been in it for 20, 30 years and don't realize we got this whole new gamification. We got this game that we're playing now, this carnival game to open packs of cards. And it does feel like when you watch, you know, Sports Card Radio is talking about all the hits coming out, whether that be CC2 or or Blez for this new 2024 Topps Chrome Basketball stuff. Now, granted, these guys are opening up a ton, a ton of product. So the idea that they're not going to pull Wimby's, of course, we're going to see Wimby's pulled all over the place, which also tells me like how many Wimby autos are in this product. Like I'm talking about the, the unnumbered ones. I know they've got numbered ones. I saw, I think Blez pulled like a red out of five. That's got like the alien inscription on it. Cool card. But how many of them are out there that are unnumbered? Stickers. Because in this product, I did notice too, there's sticker autos for Wimby and there's on-card for Wimby. So 
How many stickers did that dude sign? There might be a truckload. I mean, we saw Jem Rate, Ryan at Jem Rate. He's got the stats coming out for Prism Basketball. And just Wembenyama has more cards graded already. This dude only has like, what, six, seven, eight months of cards that have been released on him. He has like more cards that have been graded than like Jerry Rice, who's had cards for like 40 years, 35 years. You know, I mean, like, guys. We have got to open our eyes to all this stuff. And, and again, I was on that break for 15 seconds and I'd already seen enough. You know, we're just going absolutely nuts over Jay Novacek autos. That's what we're doing. I don't know. So I know for hobby veterans, this is, this is beating a dead horse. You already know all this and you already know kind of the game. I'm making this video for more or less for people coming in that might catch this and say like, hey, thanks for, thanks for just kind of like speaking up on this because I thought it was a little bit weird that we're celebrating an unlicensed Doug Flutie or Jay Novacek or a Randall Cunningham auto, for, not even for the right team. I know he played for the Vikings, obviously, but Eagles fans love Randall Cunningham. Like, Randall Cunningham is synonymous with the Philadelphia Eagles, although Vikings fans probably love him too. That was like Randy Moss, Chris Carter time. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Friends, have an amazing day ahead. Stay healthy, stay awesome. I'll talk to you again later.